Hi there, hi everybody. This is Andrew and this is Ukrainian channel. Uh, welcome, welcome to the new series with Hearts of Iron 4. No step back. Guys, I am playing with uh, um, Trotsky on the Italian channel, but for this campaign, uh, in English of course, on Ukraine, I would like to take Stalin. That's because I think I got a little bit better with Russia. And I would really like to try a, a campaign. I'm not. I'm playing with no mods, just all the DLC activated, and I will select the Soviet Union with a regular campaign in Iron Man, of course. And I will start with Iron Man Soviet Union two. Uh, all those other games are, of course, in Italian on my Twitch, but I think that you already know that, or maybe not. Let's play an Iron Man Soviet Union Stalin. Let's do that. Save and play. Um, that's because I think that Not Step Back kind of made the, the game different and more difficult, at the beginning at least. And now I have more ideas, I have more, let's say, uh, strategies that I can put into place, so why not? Um, so without further ado, let's get started. I'm going to open with the research, uh, the classical opening with the industrial researches and uh, just for your information i'm not going to edit anything here it's gonna be just a pure walkthrough a pure campaign you will see everything what i do and what i don't do of course so yeah i hope i hope you guys will enjoy let's start with some civilian factories actually you know what i i really like to do it i start with the infrastructures and uh, it's gonna be it's not gonna be that problematic if i uh, bring some more infrastructure into Moscow, Leningrad, and especially where I have my resources, I'm going to, in exactly here, I'm going to boost already the areas with the, with the resources, and I'm going to industrialize this area, which is it's very far away from the front. I know that this is something that probably you, you never saw anywhere, because I didn't see it in the first place. I'm going to produce a ton of uh, infantry equipment, of course also support equipment, and then when I will have a little bit more um, mills, I will create more artillery and improved light tanks. Of course I would need also a lot of fighters and trucks, but this is something we will see later on. Strategic bomber can absolutely uh, be avoided, and uh, what about the submarines? Also here I don't care about the submarines at all. I'm just gonna keep the Kirov of class and the destroyer just because and I will use all the rest uh, here. Um, those destroyers will go to to, to, to to the fleet here in Sevastopol. Uh, that's, that's where I want to put them. So let me type okay. I think I cannot see that. Uh, because it's with a V and not with a B. Ah, uh, man. I think I cannot select this. Funny. Okay. Amazing. I will move them once they are done, maybe. The fun fact was that I was changing the name of the, <laughs> of the, <laughs> of the destroyer instead of the um, deployment target. Oh, man. Okay, let's start with speed four. Uh, let's get immediately a national focus. And to be very honest with you guys, I think I will start with the um, um, path of Marxism-Leninism for the political power. And <clears throat> I don't have sufficient resources now. I can import one resource of all gum. And now I start the very, very, very annoying part where I have to and that's very annoying, uh, where I have to mm, allocate all my troops. So the thing is that following, I'm going to create an army with around about six, seven division here. Yes, that's going to be our uh, Vladivostok army. The, the Vladivostok army will be uh, maintained by, I don't know, Vasilevsky so far, it's fine. I'm gonna draw a fallback line here. And that's gonna be interesting when uh, when Japan will uh, try to attack us. For the rest, I'm going to select all the unassigned division, put them all here, and then I'm going to do something very boring but important. Let's give to uh, to Kaczewski the field marshal 
uh, this army and then we take all the mountaineers we move them to one army those are 13 which is uh, very good let's give them to zhukov and they go here on the board with Turkey. okay then we go back to this 190 we take all the cavalry we put them out uh, it's a 21 we switch them to Srekovaya because i don't want to have cavalry very honestly those guys are going to be on the romanian border then let's take all the tanks they are going somewhere else uh, they stay on their own 10 divisions that's great let me see if i have also some uh yes i have some trucks only one to be honest but that's okay rosakovsky which is perfect for us they are going also to the romanian borders and then we can do split split two times and i believe that's gonna work quite well no uh, that's actually fine okay that's fine we're, we're almost there let's give all the other units to our generals and then we have to find uh, one general whatever it doesn't really matter it doesn't really matter fine those, the, the extra divisions are going to Zhukov. And I think we are good to go. 26, fine, All, almost, we are almost there. 24, 25. Let's give also some... Okay, let's change one division. Let's put it into a Motostrekova, yeah. And let's assign them here. I think it's okay. I think it's okay. And um, what do we do? So, uh, Zhukov is going to the Polish border those other guys are going to the other borders but at the moment that's not that's not a big deal I just need to be careful uh, so that they don't die here for example in Finland they need to be very careful because that might be a problem let's uh, let's now release the post button because we don't care and we assign whoever because you never know what's gonna happen with the purges of Stani, so maybe some of those guys will die, some will not. That's gonna be interesting. Okay, let's get started. So now we have six armies. One, of course, goes out without any order. Mm, those guys will stay in defense uh, uh, here in Ukraine. It really doesn't matter. And all the others have uh, orders. Okay, except for those guys. Uh, that could take, for example, this area. Perfect. Now, if I look at Tukhachevsky, I'm not going to give any sort of promotion whatsoever, because this guy will be purged 100%. <laughs> I don't need that. What I could do, though, is starting the... Um, uh, start, starting... My goodness. What I could do, though, is starting a training but I need 34,000 rifles, uh, which is crazy, which is crazy. It's really, really high. And the first thing I'm going to do, by the way, is to justify war goal towards Turkey. And to do that, I need 36 more political power, so a 250. I'm going to get this political power with the path of Marxism-Leninism. And I think then I will declare war on Turkey and Romania will enter and Romania will try to save Turkey. And, and I think I will uh, conquer both of them. So I will have uh, for sure a big chunk of territory, uh, which is also valuable allies for the Axis uh, when the war starts. So Romania, it will be under my control. So also the oil, maybe I won't be able to defend it, but still. And regarding Turkey, yeah, we will see what to do with them, but... Uh, so far, so good. I think it's gonna be fun. Okay, the path of the Marxism-Leninism is all, almost there. So we need another four political points. I'm gonna wait so that I will uh, increase more political power. Yes, let's do that. And let's start justifying. No one should be able to stop us. And now we can select the next focus. Fine, so we are going to select right away the center which we start, of course, the propaganda topic, but on one end. Uh, on the other end, it will allow us to clean 
the propaganda issue uh, as soon as possible. And now we open also an agency, the NKPD, so we will also have spies. We're going to plant spies in Romania and Turkey for our first campaign. Uh, let me see, so who do I have on the border? So far, no one. I think I forgot something then. Yep, the Montaniers. The Montaniers are uh, now assigned uh, on the Polish border. There was a mistake, of course. I didn't consider that. Let's give an infantry leader to... No, we can give only an, a winter expert. Pity. Pity, pity, pity. We can give only a winter expert to Zhukov, but that's not bad. Let's give to Tukhachevsky the aggressive assaulter um, trait. We will need 15 uh, common power points, but that's good. And now we can open the Stalin Constitution, which will provide with uh, political power gain and will open uh, to the Zinoviet uh, Terrorist Center. This is good. That's very good. Okay, fine. So now that Shukrov is in position, we can give, of course, a disorder. Um, and now here, we need also Konev. We need also this order. And uh, Rosakovsky is far away from the from the front. We're gonna give maybe to these guys this area and to those other guys this area. And then they will get uh, different uh, different orders, but later on, later on. Fine. What I have to do also is to make sure that I have enough trucks to provide my troops with some... Wow, Italy already made Ethiopia capitulate. We need to provide our troops with this, some, uh, some equipment. And here, what I see is that this area is obviously not, not enough not supplied at all. We need here and here some extra levels. So from Dagestan, uh, at least a level two can arrive in Georgia. All the rest towards Moscow is fine. Yeah, apparently, yes. Let's, let's have a look right away about the paranoia. Okay, the paranoia starts right now, which means I could... Uh, okay, very good. I have 62 points and that's amazing. Let's go back to uh, our railways. I think it's gonna work. Uh, what is not gonna work is uh, this area. It's actually horrible. Let me see if I can uh, increase my railways. Absolutely, this is a this must be a two at least. And well, 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 well. I would need much more than this. Yeah, to reach this, uh, I need this one at least. Okay, fine. Uh, let's boost, let's give priority to the railways. I'm sorry, but I think that's more important. Then we will start the industrialization and so on. Now we have a spy. I really like Richard Sorge. I really like him. It's, it's, uh, it's a spy that I appreciate. So I start, of course, with my N NKVD. And when I see the paranoia hitting 20, I will forge the satisfactory production report. Because I know that's going to be very good. Very, very good. Okay, I could speed up a little bit more, maybe. Let's have a look at uh, our, our planes first. Uh, let's move everybody to Moscow. And also those guys. Because I want to be sh make sure that I have everybody under control here. What do we have in Leningrad? A horrible fleet, fine. So we have 470, um, we move 235 and we move 245. Very good. And then we have 240 tactical bombers. We do the same, so we split this air wing here and here. The rest are strategic bombers and naval bombers. Okay, the naval bombers, to be very fair, I, they could go on the Black Sea. And those other guys here could go uh, doing the logistic strikes and uh, all those other very funny things that they usually do. Interception and blah, blah, blah. Okay, great. 
I think we are almost uh, ready. Let's select now Tukhachevsky. Let's give a training command. So we are going to start having some experience and uh, of course also exp experience <laughs> and, and also um, army experience. That's all I meant. Okay, and this guy hits 20. Nothing to worry about because the Stalin constitution helps us. Now we are going to open immediately with the Zinoviet uh, terrorist center because uh, it will unlock some other decisions that will take around about half an year to, to be unlocked, uh, which means we will be able to do something else. Okay, big topic here. The concentrated industry gives us a, a factory output of the 15%, which is great, and gives us max factories in a state plus 20%. But uh, on the other hand, a base of 5%, it's much better due to the fact that the Soviet Union is very inefficient. So, unfortunately, I have to take the dispersed industry. I say unfortunately because that's not my favorite one, but I have to. And now, what I'm going to do... Let me think, let me think. How can I get experience? Yeah, let's give a roll to Vasilevsky. We start having some experience now, piling up, and we don't need much more political power for the paranoia right now. Let me have a look now at what's going on in Turkey. So the justification will be ready on the 17th of October 36, so we have still some time. We don't have any troop uh, in preparation, of course, we need to give priority to the reinforcement. And I think that's it for the time being. And now we wait, now we wait. The Zinoviet Terrorist Center will give us 25% of political power. It will increase our paranoia, but it will also start to be a big purge. And this is going to be a problem for some of our uh, generals, but not for all of them. So let's see, by the way, 22,000 infantry equipment, it's getting much better and, and also our uh, railways now are, are improved so I think yeah it looks so oh it looks much better now it's up uh, it looks absolutely fine okay good um what what did I lose no I got something I, I can't remember but I got a let's forget about that so far minus 50% political paranoia but Smirnov uh, Shlapnikov, Sokolnikov, Zinoviev, Kameniev are going to disappear. Poof. Ah, yes, I know what I missed. Uh, that was a message from my NCAO VD. So let's get some... Um, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Anti-partisan will be useful later on. And let's take another goal. So now the anti-Soviet Trotsky Center will be unlocked in 175 days. Securing the administration will give us a, um, a discount in changing the economy, trade and conscription laws, which is great, it's massive, because then I want to change my economy laws very soon. Let's have a look at the armies here. So here you see that we are getting close to the excellence and the same thing should happen here. We're wasting a lot of... of uh, equipment but still we have 20 factories uh, now working on infantry equipment and and that's it that's going to work it's going to be good okay i could modify the government because they have enough political power but that's something i don't want to do right now i'm having a look if i can already expand no not yet i need construction and extraction if I want to expand my resources. So let's go immediately to excavation, sorry, not extraction, and let's continue. Mm. I think I will wait until I secure the administration and then I will change the export focus into free trade, which will give me more construction speed, more resource speed, and that's just a great uh, advantage, to be honest. And then let's see. Now, um, which operations can I do here? Nothing, because I need two spies. I would like to install um, a friend government in Ankara, so they might decide to, 
to be nice with us and cooperate, let's say. I could also increase the stability for, okay, it could be also a good idea, to be honest. It would give me a lot of factory output, but I think I can increase the factory output uh, somewhere in another way. Let's wait and see. Okay, let's move the speed uh, to five now. I think there is no, nothing else that we have to do. And dispersing industry, excavation, mechanical computing, that's everything is in order. I need to wait till this number ticks to 20 and then I will forge the satisfactory production reports and because I need to bring, move it back. Okay, we have the games of, uh, okay. Olympic Games, that's not a problem for us. And uh, still a few days, guys. Till we see a 20. And now it's done. Okay, we can focus somewhere else now. We secured the administration. So let's continue uh, with the passive defense now. And let's go. You see, I would really like to unlock this anti-Soviet Trotsky Center, but I cannot do it yet. So I'm going to unlock the internal affairs, which will give me the possibility uh, to, okay, a, a lot of stability, 10%, very useful, political power plus 50, and then the Agitprop and the new Soviet woman, very, very interesting and important. What I'm going to do with these 177 points, um, it's adding a, a political advisor. Kalinin is very important, uh, as Khrushchev is very important. I don't know if they will survive. So I am not 100% sure if I, if I should take any of those. On the other hand, I think the export uh, focus to free trade that now costs only 120 is giving me immediately a bonus and I'm not risking anything. So I take the free trade so far. Let's do this. So. The home of the revolution, by the way, I didn't show you these guys, is giving us a plus 50% ideology drift defense. The Trotsky plot, unfortunately, is decreasing the stability by 20% and the political power gain by 15%. The politicized military, this is horrible. It's increasing the cost of every doctrine by 20% and the cost also of our commander abilities. It's really, really bad. The five years plan is horrible because the production efficiency grow minus 15% is slowing down everything. Plus, a horrible Soviet Air Force, a Red Army, which is totally inefficient, and the Politburg that, thanks God, is giving us some little, little uh, support right now. Let me see the paranoia is very low. Let's go back to the army. I think that, wow, look, the Mountaineers and the infantry here under Zhukov are almost all at level regular, so they're ready to, to fight. That's very important because they will be more efficient, obviously. Um, and they look very, very well equipped, all of them. Also the tanks, which is great. Yes, also the Romanian front will, will do, will perform well. That's great. And uh, as you can see, as you can see, we can uh, now probably by the end of 36 start heavily industrializing all our country because um, we started with infrastructure, which probably, again, it's not the... It's not the best thing ever, but it's going to help us. So it's also an experiment that I want to do. And now let's take also the second level of passive defense. I think it's good. Soon we will be able to have another operative, I think. Okay, addressing the internal affairs. Mm, plus political power, plus stability. Expand the edit prop will give me another uh, popularity in communism and political power. The Soviet woman, a lot of political power and stability and popularity. So let's go straight to this. And as you can see, the paranoia is not so bad at the moment. So I think I think we can do that. We could change the government already. The civilian economy could go already into a partial mobilization. But if I wait, then we will have a, a war economy. So I think that will work quite well. Mm. Yeah, let's let's wait a little bit. Let's wait a little bit. And I'm not sure if I want to start an inspection in the Navy just to decrease the paranoia uh, due to the fact that this will avoid any bigger problem. 
actually I think I want to do that. I want to do that. What I'm going to do so I don't forget is starting um, a process of industri industrialization of all those regions that I have now uh, developed. And let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. We are ready. We are ready to declare war. Oh, which is great, which is great, guys. So let's not waste uh, time and let's get ready. Uh, I'm going to stop right now the training process. And ooh, why? Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Why do we have so much uh, trouble? Oh, man. Uh, okay, I think I'm going to change the disposition of those troops because right now they are just not necessary. And they're just getting crushed by uh, attrition. And th this is going to destroy a lot of my um, equipment. And I, I really hate this. I should have checked before. <laughs> Sorry for that. Um, let's give, anyways, the training to all those troops that are on the front uh, in uh, Vladivostok. And to be very honest, this guy here should be also modified into infantry. Fine. Okay. Okay. I think, okay, our tanks, for example, are not fully uh, at full strength. We are not having all the light tanks that we need, but I'm not going, I'm not going to wait anyway, so... Let's do this. Let's declare war on Turkey. Potential uh, enemies. I really hope that. I really hope that uh, <laughs> uh, Romania will enter the war, because now. What I'm going to do. I'm going to try. And oh, no, wait a second. Okay, I think we are in a war now. Yes, exactly. So let's take those two tanks and let's do this and here let's do this we start the first attempt of uh, uh, wait a moment uh, the first attempt of encirclement in Romania while near in Turkey so far I don't want to move but I could also try to see if the Montaniers are able to... I don't know, I, to be very honest, I'm not sure if the Montaniers are able to uh, pierce, but we will discover it very soon. Okay, are the troops, are the fighters working? Yes, that's amazing. What I forgot, to be honest, is to give uh, the strike force, Black Sea, to my fleet. Looking good. Looking quite good, guys. I want to see the territory. Those are planes. This is all planes. Mm. I really like it. Because I think I can hear... Uh, here I can try to take the control of this... Airport. And they can try to do the same here, with also with the tanks. So, let's see. Let's see if uh, if the invasion will work or not. And now, now we can move to war economy. Not yet. I need. Oh, I need more war support. <laughs> that, that's very bad. I think I'm not going to wait. Uh, I will take the partial mobilization and uh, stay with that for a while. But that was uh, disappointing. Yeah, it was disappointing. Okay, we are winning somewhere and not and losing somewhere else. Mm. That's from the Department of Cryptology. Okay, it seems that here we're winning, but not everywhere. Well, if we go to Turkey, okay, 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 okay. We uh, managed to take cars, 
So now we just have to continue with the mountaineers pushing. Uh, I think I, I can really take here also. Very simple. I can do that. I can take another territory. I want to, of course, create a little bubble there. And okay, we managed. We managed. Stop. Support. And also here, these tanks should go and, and support uh, this area, to be honest. Same for this guy. Because I think that we can encircle them and close them. The new Soviet woman. Amazing. Plus stability, plus political power, which is wonderful. Mm. We are going to use this in 35 days. Okay, let me see what I can do in the industry in 35 days. I can boost the infrastructure once again. Because that's also interesting and important. I think I can stop right now this episode because uh, half an hour has passed. So we will see the end of this war, I hope, in the next episode. Till then, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you will leave a like button and subscribe. And uh, thank you for watching and see you next time.